things being written about you that you stake tyres and that you have challenged people with a rifle and shot at people? Or is there any truth? In no, that? there's none. Well, I've never staked anyone tyres on purpose at all. I've put out um, material to prevent anyone coming onto our workplaces. So when we're, we're working, there's no shooting and that because Diane over the years has been down having lunch and that and there's been bullets whistling over her and her brother and a few others in the camp head at lunchtime due to people shooting. Pe people just shooting. people shooting. We've lost um, herd yeah. bulls and that mm. with people shooting them. The same with machinery. You go to machinery and leave it along the track and you come back and there's no battery in it and the fuel's drained and that, you can't afford to leave it along the track. Mm. Come across cattle shot mm. and only the rump taken out mm. or brisket. It's our livelihood. Mm. They shouldn't be here. So we put in devices to protect ourselves. It's only the people that I find on the property, and when we go and talk to them, what are you doing here? Why? Do you own the place? They're the ones that make it hard for me. They're the ones that are passing the word around that he's a bad bloke. And as far as we're concerned, if the council wants to open the road and that up, work in with us, work in with the people of the area so the tourists that come through, they get the best benefit of the area without annoying the um, landholders in the area, whereas this council hasn't. There's been three other townships that they could have come in on to visit through to Maytown. There's Byerstown, Newerstown and Maytown. There's a gazetted road right past them. No resumption orders are needed. Just do the road up. They, don't they, want that, they, they didn't want that because it looked like too much hard work. There's a road over here, we'll take it. At the present time, they've taken lots. One to 13, minus five. Now six goes out into the neighboring property, comes around and joins back in. Why, so would, they, they, why, why would they want a road out there for? So you think this is part of the vendetta? Yeah, because if, if they really wanted number nine, we look at it, it'd be number one. What they've done to us here with section 11, the gazetted alignment goes through here and down there, but they wanted section 11 and it comes up here and across here, so they've got two roads running side by side. Hmm. And the biggest issue here is number 13. It only goes out from Palmerville here a kilometre and it's our airstrip. And they've put the road right beside our airstrip that we haven't been able to receive mail now since September last year. We've so you're get your mail. We haven't had mail since the 5th of September 2011, and now it's April 2012. May. It's May, it's May. 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 May 2012, and we haven't had no mail at all. In the wet season, we normally get even supplies to come in. Nothing. We've, so you can't use that air, airstrip? At the present time, that airstrip is not ours. It's on a road reserve. You don't think some of your angst is spilling over to the passers-by you know i mean you're you, you have a reputation for being quite you know giving people a bit of bit of curry up on the on the road you don't think no the that, battle you're having with the no that's all been blown out of proportion what do you think about the possibility that this road if the council do go ahead with this compulsory acquisition um, this country opening up to the grey nomads and, you know, people starting to use that loop more regularly. What do you feel about How do you feel about that? Well, I'm OK with it. As, as long as my cattle and that ain't on the road to cause any problems to the next bloke and they're not causing me no problems, no life problem. goes on.